probably put sharp instruments away before I hurt myself. Start learning to put things away, I tell you. Turned around, sitting at my desk with an open knife. Not that I wasn't busy trying to use it, but probably should put it away. So looking over here at the chat that's up, I got Amtrak and Southern Pacific Rail fan. Hello, and you were first again, sir. That's awesome. And my laptop's a little on the laggy side, but we got Container Man 68 telling me to hurry up. We got lots of people in this chat over here to my left, and I got a couple people in my chat over here to my right. We got AI Air Max 1, Ralph Greenwood, Martin, H.O. Chessy, Rail Rider Abby, Jonathan, how are you doing? John Billy, good day, sir. Max Model Railway, hello. And Nicholas, you made it. Nancy Jones, hello. Whatever works, Railroad. I love the name of that one, actually. David Atkins, nice to see you in here, sir. Went back and I watched your video again. I like the dancers outside of the train. That's just really cool. So... But the one at the end, all dressed in black, she, I'm not sure if she was, she was having a good time, but I'm not sure if she was really focused on it, maybe. But John, and who else? Oh, there's Mr. Vinny popping in, BNSF 6951. I'm getting a little excited about that gentleman. Less than a month now, I'm going to be down in Phoenix visiting Vinny. And he gave me a call the other night. He was a little disappointed in my schedule. I'm going down on a Saturday night, and I'm coming home on a Friday afternoon. My live stream's on a Wednesday, just like now. So Vinny and I are going to try to post my live stream when I'm down there from his layout. But he gave me, and sorry for using the French word, but he gave me shit. I'm leaving on Friday afternoon, and his live stream's Friday night. So he wasn't very happy with me at all. But I told him what he gets to do then, because I'm going to be on a plane anyway at the same time he's doing his live stream. He can say whatever he wants, and I can't comment about it until I get home and watch it. But I got to unpack, travel, and all that other stuff yet. So probably be pretty close to midnight by the time I get home because a three hour time difference, too. So leave his place at noon and get back to my place around seven, like the airport around seven, seven thirty, I think it said. But Redbird Tony, how are you, sir? I want to see a video of your cows on your layout. Unless you've already done that, nobody can see them. Not that I'm making fun of end scale people. So, yeah. everybody just saying hello to everybody. And I'm just wondering do we have Train Guy 56 in here? If so, say hi about three times. That way I get to see you. Nathan Delay, hello, sir. How are you? Or I'm looking for Andrew's trains. Or Dirty Dan. There's Train Guy 56 right there. Now, Train Guy 56, just keep saying hi in the chat so people can see you. I checked his channel out. He's got 20 subscribers. Just getting started basically on YouTube. And his first video that he put up was an introduction to his YouTube channel and what he's going to be doing on it. I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't do an introduction video when I started YouTube. Mind you, when I started YouTube, I really didn't know I was actually starting a public forum type thing. I thought it was just for me. But So Train Guy 56 One more time, say hi. There he is. So check him out, guys. Like I said, last time I looked at him, he had 20 subscribers. So Train Guy 56 how many do you have now? I'd like to know and then see how many we can get you up to by the end of the stream. That's really cool because I do a bit of a shout out thing at the end of my streams. So Train Guy 56 was at 20 when I saw him last time. And he's at 24 right now. I have 44 people watching the stream. And it's probably because I was holding a soldering iron and somebody wants to see if I can burn myself. But for right now, we'll do the Mr. John Dilly thumbs up as you sign in. 
Now, John Dilly there, you guys, little side note here about my trip down to see Vinny. John Dilly's taking a vacation exactly the same time I am, which is kind of surprising. And he mentioned that. And then now I hear he is visiting Vinny the same time I am. So tune in to John Dilly's channel and you might see some behind the scenes or sneak peeks of my videos or Vinny's videos of what a couple of days are going to be like. So that's going to be kind of cool. I get to meet John Dilly when I'm down there too. And by the sounds of it, there's a couple of people I'm going to be meeting, so that's going to be cool. Mr. Jack Jack, how are you? So, like I said, Train Guy 56. Hopefully, he gets another video up too. But, like I said, subscribe to this gentleman. And uh, I know what I want to say. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to him. Leave a comment on his introduction video saying, I want more videos. Then he's going to have to post more, right? Supply and demand is what it's all about. So if we all start saying we want more, then put up some more. You might already put one up and I missed it in the chat, but that's just me. I'm bumming my hamburgers. I'm burning my hamburgers. See, my I need new glasses. I can barely see the chat now. Which is kind of, I had an eye appointment last Friday. I was supposed to work last Friday. And then because I work with the electrical grid, so I build substations and stuff like that. Something happened. We couldn't work. So then we rescheduled. So I was supposed to work. I rescheduled my eye appointment, and that was supposed to be for this coming Friday. And then they turned around and said, okay, guys, we need you guys in on Friday. It's like, really? So I kind of give up. But I definitely need new glasses. My eyes are getting worse, unfortunately. Something to do with getting a little bit older. It's got to be it. But another guy I was checking out was Andrew's Trains. And spelled just like that, Andrew's Trains. And he's going to have a giveaway if he gets 10 more subscribers. He had 161 when I checked out his channel. What's that say? Oh. Ah. There you go. I forgot that was on the back of that. There's my PayPal and my Patreon. But anyway, I don't like doing that stuff. But anyway, Andrew's Trains had 161 subscribers. If he could get 10 more subscribers, he said he was going to do a contest. And then I think the way he worded it, it was like every time he got 20 or 30 more subscribers to his channel, or followers, I guess I'm supposed to say nowadays, he was going to do another contest or giveaway so that's kind of cool and the last person i checked out was because of scrumptious model trains dirty dan is this kid's name <laughs> just he's funny he's got really cool videos out about a couple locomotives that he was working on sniffle started already wow whatever works railroad my train is on hold because i need new glasses <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just, well, I get a big visor thing, too, that I can use. So, but because I'm in HO, it's not that bad. Don't really need my glasses for too much of the work on this stuff. So, the Dirty Dan had, uh, I think, the way it was, he had 98 subscribers. And Scrumptious Model Trains did a little shout-out for him. He jumped up to 103 or 104. And when I subscribed to him, he had 100. 12 and I looked at him today. I think he was up to 149 So that's awesome. And that's dirty Dan two words dirty Dan So I was kind of hoping he was gonna be in here tonight. Hopefully he shows up. Maybe Cheryl Crow. How are you doing? And and W 475 I'm one way or another. I really gotta learn to read chat all the way through so now I normally don't do shout outs at the beginning it's just kind of boring, I think. Well, it's not boring, but you know what I mean, right? TST Multimedia, how are you doing, sir? It's 407, and I remember this time. Yeah, I know. Last time on your one, one live stream, you're always saying, you always get it an hour late after my video is done, so you're two hours from now when you come in. But nice to have you in here, sir. So, And I got 2448 Toy Man. And Max, Model Railroad, saying hi to John. I can do that too. Hi, John. 
but I still prefer TSG Multimedia, Troublemaker 12, lots of people, 51 in here, that's cool. So just back to, uh, that was the Dirty Dan thing, back to Scrumptious Model Trains. So he did the Dirty Dan shout out, and a lot of you guys, I sure do follow Scrumptious, and he did a follow-up video to it saying basically, you know what, I want to give back to my, this community. Because this community is so awesome. People have helped out his channel. And uh, he wants to start doing live streams. That he's going to start shouting out four or five YouTube channels a week. And I left a nice long message on there, of course, saying, listen, you're going to do live streams. A, do it on a certain night. Always. So always pick the same night. Just not Wednesday night or Friday night. Saturday morning. Always do it at the same time. Pick some moderators and let your moderators know what your rules are for your channel. Because if he's doing a shout out live stream, for sure it's going to be pick me, pick me, pick me, and all the way through the chat. That's all you're going to get is hey everybody subscribe to me. So I said you got to got to set some of those rules out there. So stay tuned for Scrumptious Model Railways, Model Trains. Sorry, and he's going to start doing the live stream now. I never asked him when. I'll give him some time to set it up. Might be next week, might be a week afterwards. But I think that's going to be really cool that he does that. Jonathan's asking about Sunday night. I play hockey on Sunday night, so I don't see much YouTube until after I get home. Then I try to put myself to bed with YouTube, like to sleep. Well, that doesn't work because a lot of guys got really good videos out. And of course, then I get all excited, and then I want to buy something, and then I, well, you know how that goes, right? Anyway. So maybe Scrumptious will pop in later on. Let us know how he is going to do that. Hot Rod Rodney, how are you? There you go, container. So it's really cool to have TSG Multimedia in here. And because Scrumptious isn't in here right now, and John, I'm, I've just got to do this because I got a real kick out of this the other day. John from TSG Multimedia and myself, we were talking back and forth for about an hour the other night. And I'm scrolling around on my computer, just kind of horsing around. And Scrumps just had his live stream going. And like I said, I'm talking to John. And I said, John, you got to pop over to Scrumptious Model Trains. Now, I kind of, it's one thing that makes me feel kind of good is when I pop into somebody's streams, they do that. Hey, Sparky's here. That's cool, right? That was awesome. So I popped into Scrumptious and I got the, hey, Sparky's here. That's cool. Nice to see you, buddy. And then TSG pops in. And Scrumptious gave like a two-minute spiel of how good TSG is and, and watching his channel and everybody's got to subscribe to him and, and all this. And that was just awesome. And you know what? It's just part of this community, I think. And, uh-oh, there's Scrumptious. Well, hopefully he didn't hear the story I just told. So, But anyway, part of the community thing that I like is going into other people's live streams and it just, I hit that like button and share button and hopefully it gets a couple more people to come over to their live streams. So I just, I, I think it's cool. So when John popped in from TSG and then we started talking about Scrumps' name because some people think it should be changed. So what was it? John, do you remember what he was going to, or Scrumptious, do you remember what your name was going to be? Because that was kind of funny and it was, it was going to be something multimedia. So, but anyway, it was a funny story to me. Sorry. Probably wasn't that funny to you guys. There it is. SMT multimedia. And scrumptious right after that. He's like, hey, that sounds really good, but I don't want to step on anybody's toes. and I don't want to scam off another channel and, and all that other stuff. And John said he was cool with it. I think it's an awesome name. It's really catchy. So, but we'll see if he goes with it. But there's Scrumptious right there. Um, keep checking out his channel. When he gets into that live stream thing where he's shouting out other people's videos, I think that's going to be really cool for the community right there. He's going to help out a lot of channels. Big, small, medium, me, you. It's just going to be fun to watch. So that's done for shout out stuff. Um, what else was I going to do tonight? I can't remember. Hmm. Something to do with heat, track, wire. I'll figure it out. 
maybe I just got to go through my notes. Train guy 56. Yeah, did that. Andrew's trains. Andrew's trains. Yep, did that. Dirty Dan. Still haven't seen his name in here, though. Troublemaker 12. How are you doing, sir? Rowan Collins. What was in the blue box? What blue box? That blue box back there? There's a couple of blue boxes back there. I'll get to that. Dirty Dan and Scrumptious Model Trains. Like I said, normally I don't do shout outs, but I had those kind of set up. I think it was on Thursday or Friday last week when I saw Train Guy 56 and Andrew's Trains. So I just wanted to help out a couple of the smaller channels. And when Andrew's Trains said he's going to have a contest, I had to get him up 10 more. Come on. I think that's kind of cool. So, Eric, how are you doing? <coughs> Talking too much. Oh my. Speaking of contests, I've been kind of talking to another gentleman that works for Athern Trades. So, and I'm just going to throw this out here right now. You guys are the first to hear about it. I am not going to do a video of my contest for about four, five, or six days. So, you guys get a bit of a head start to it. Athern Model Trades. I buy quite a bit of stuff from Athern. My cream car. That wasn't a bad price either. It was forty six ninety nine. Right. Got my GP nine, high nose. I like this thing. This thing runs awesome. Atherin Genesis. I had to buy this thing because it is the ugliest thing in the world. Right. The U fifty. Atherin Genesis. It just. I don't know. And, of course, a lot of people got into this one. The Spirit of America. Again, Atherin Trains. So, the reason why I'm saying Atherin Trains after the word contest, what I want to do, well, I don't want to do anything. What you guys are going to want to do, well, now I want to do something. i got to hold up this late again. Container Man 68, don't burn the house down. I should plug that in very shortly, right after I do this. <laughs> Container Man 68, check him out. That's still my favorite one, the Torpedo, and then if I live, so I don't know if it mutes when you guys are watching right now. I'm buffering right now, too. That's not fair. But I'm not on the mainstream, so we're okay. But it turns it down, so I'm not too worried about it. Back to the contest that I was going to talk about. Now, I like doing this live stream thing on Wednesday. And you guys know I like to make contests a little hard on you guys. I don't like things that are easy, right? So, what I was thinking for my contest. I'm doing this Wednesday night live stream. So, what you guys could do is a little one or two minute video shouting out my Wednesday night live chat. So... Just tell people, come to the Wednesday Night Live chat, Spark Channel, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what your favorite episode was. Episode, I'm just like soap opera here. <laughs> or maybe a series like Big Dang Theory. Can I say that? I'm not sure. But anyway, so you guys do a video. Do a shout out for the Wednesday Night Live chat. Tell people to come over and check it out. I personally like the chat. But, and I know you guys are laughing at that right now. I don't watch the chat right now. I watch the camera. But in an hour and a half, when the chat matches up with the video, I go back and I watch it, and I get a good kick out of what some of you guys are saying in there quite a bit, especially when I start doing projects that I'm going to burn myself with. You guys are taking bets on it all the time, which I don't think is fair because I can't bet. I think I should be allowed to bet. So does that make a lot of sense? Shout out video about the Wednesday night live chat, what you like about it. Tell people to come, check it out every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's all you basically got to do. What you like about it, what you want to see more in it. Anything you want. In about five days, I'm going to post the video for the contest itself. And then if you guys do a video for the Wednesday night live chat, the shout out, all you got to do is post a link or post the fact that you did it. 
on that video and you'll be entered. Now, that's kind of the contest explained. I'll look again in a couple minutes. Right after, hold on, I gotta plug something in here. This isn't gonna work very well if it's cold. We don't wanna be here all night. So if I plug this in right now, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for all the lights and everything to go out. Plug in this thing. Is it on? Yep, lights are on. Good. So, Atherin, talking to a gentleman there, Chris, and what the prize is going to be for this contest is an HO scale starter set, train set. So, it's got the locomotive, two or three cars with it, a caboose, a track, Bachman transformer, the easy track. I believe that's what, what it's all got in it, right? And they're going to supply it. Atherin Trains is supplying the prize. So whoever wins, I don't even get to see what you win because Atherin Trains is going to mail it to you, not even me. So that's, to me, kind of cool. So Trainman 46 says, what's the prize? A beginner train set. Rounds here in Ontario, I think they're about 246 bucks to 299 depending on what store you go to. Professor Grimm, how are you doing, sir? And Professor Grimm, are you going to make it to Chuck's place when I get there? And I'm not sure what the date is. You'll have to talk to Vinny about it. But it'd be kind of cool to meet you, too. So did that make any sense? I'm going to watch the chat for a minute. Do we understand? Did it make sense what I want you guys to do? A shout-out video about the Wednesday Night Live, ch live chat? Tell people to come here and have fun. Get into the chat. What you like about it. What you don't. What you want to see more. Favorite episode. Whatever you want. But just a basic shout out to the Wednesday night live chat. Biggest rule about that is it's got to be its own video. You can't be doing an update video and then throw that in the center of it and then continue your update video. It's got to be a video all on its own. Because I am thinking I'm going to have two prizes for it. First prize will be the one given to you to the winner from Atherin. And the second prize, the second prize might even be another trade set. Who knows? And the way I'm thinking is I might pick out one winner and somebody else or you guys might be able to vote on the second place winner. I'm still tossing that around. Now, how long do you guys got to do this? GRE 2057. Good day, sir. Watch the language, please. 46. Yeah, I know. I just did the finger, too. Un didn't mean to, though. Unfortunate finger choice. Yeah, I know. Hey, eh? one. Nope. See, you're trying to get me to do it again, Scrumptious. That's not funny. I don't try things like that on your live stream. So, anyway, just kidding, buddy. EJ and E. Jeff. Jonathan, I've said hi to you twice, but hi, Jonathan. How are you? Since my name's highlighted nicely. JT1, yeah, Sparky, put that finger down. How come all you guys see the finger? I asked, is the contest like explained properly? <laughs> Nobody wants to answer that part. Zane's Trains and Things, good day, sir. Nice to see you in here. So, oops, my phone, so sorry. Oops, my phone, so sorry. Okay. Haha, <laughs> funny, Sparky. I thought so. Hmm. Robert Sacco, good day, sir. And tell me about that light thing. What light thing? What, this buzzer thing? My, my, this thing? You got to do a super chat if you want to know about this thing. <laughs> Bribery gets everybody. So, so yeah, contest. What you guys got to do? A, a video by itself, two, three, ten minutes long. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Creative Rails, hello, how are you? Kim, Sparky, you will get your box soon to you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, TS, John, you, I'm telling you, man, you want to know about this light, you got to do Super Chat. I can even tell you where to get them. Maybe. Or you can just wait and Facebook me later. But back to, stop, you guys keep distracting me. See, this is why I don't like reading the chat all the time. Then I get distracted and we can't figure out what I'm doing, so... So, yeah, the contest, the video by itself, the prize is going to be the train set given to you guys by Atherin, not by me. So they're kind of sponsoring 
my contest, not my channel, just my contest. And maybe a second place prize. I'm going to hold two fingers out for that, a second place prize. And I'll figure out what that is. Now, when am I going to do the contest, the drawing of it? Well, one of the first things I mentioned is I'm going to see Vinny. Almost a month, a little less than a month now. I'm going to head down to Phoenix. We are going to do my live stream at Vinny's place on the Wednesday night. Hopefully at 7 p.m. Eastern. I just got to figure out what time that is when I'm in Phoenix. Seven, six, five, four. Could be four. I think it's four. So I'm hoping to do the contest at Vinny's on my live stream. So that's four weeks, basically. A little under four weeks to do the contest. And then if I hold a second place contest where you guys get to pick the winners, that's going to be another video all by itself. Then I'll explain how do we do that. And that one I'll probably do, well, if I have time when I'm at Vinny's, I can go through the entries of that, but it might be afterwards. So basically, thanks, Container Man. So basically, I think that's good enough timing. And like I said, I'm not going to post a video about my contest. You guys are getting the first heads up about it. So if you just want to throw, get ready, you'll have it made for the first day that I actually announced the contest opening. So, so contest, the draw date, month from now when I'm at Vinny's. So I think three, maybe four Wednesdays from now, the prize, and maybe a second prize. Two fingers. Got to start remembering two fingers. So I think that was pretty cool. I got really excited when Chris said that they can supply the uh, train set. That was just really awesome. So enough of that, enough of this, enough of all that. What we wanted to do, and TSG, this is a Budweiser light, Budweiser. Go to Budweiser.com, and they should be on their website. But this is kind of my thing. <laughs> Oof. Roy Hardwick. Actually, you both should do a live stream back to back on Wednesday. Huh. That might be an idea too. Thanks, Roy. Or was I supposed to read that out loud? Oh, there it is. Both of you should do a live stream. How did you do that? That's good. So let's see. Had my pen here, did all the shout outs. I did the one with Scrumptious Model Trains that he wants to do shout out videos live streams, hopefully once a week. And maybe he'll say in the chat when he's going to start doing that and what time, what days he's doing that. So that'd be kind of cool. Is the Bud Light supposed to be a hockey tally lamp? Tally lamp? Tally lamp. Uh, the Budweiser Light would have normally do is it's by Wi-Fi. And I set it up and I'm a big fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So when the Toronto Maple Leafs score a goal, that light normally goes off. So when I first got it, it didn't go off very often. But now that we got that Austin Matthews kid from Phoenix, <laughs> he's a good goal scorer. There's a good 70 times that light goes off a year. But it's got a button on it too. I can push it whenever. So it'd be nice if I could find a way to set it up for the Super Chats. Then I wouldn't even have to watch that. So, so we did the scrumptious. We did my contest. Super chat thank yous from last week. Ron Pisco, who isn't here tonight, I don't think, unless he pops in. <coughs> Ron Pisco's off picking up his wife at the airport. She's just getting home tonight. We got Mr. John Dilly, and he's always right there at the beginning of the stream throwing me super chat and saying hi. Normally when he's at work and he's just going to be on his way home shortly. We got Ethanville, bro, 420. Saying hi to me last week because I don't know if there was just streaming problem or went dead or something, but he said, Hey, say something. And of course, we got Mr. Container Man 68 who's in here tonight. Perfect channel to watch trains, trucking, driving, rail fanning, N scale, HO scale. And it's not really a food blog, but you always get to see what he eats every day. And most of the time it's Taco Bell. So, hey, dumb, dumb, end scale, end scale, end scale. What about end scale, end scale, end scale? I'll read that later. But no, the reason why I'm picking 
and Athern's doing the prize anyway, back to my contest, is it's a starter set. So it doesn't matter if you're HO, N scale, Z scale, G scale, O scale. This is a brand new starter set, brand new train set, never going to be opened. Brand new, right to you from Athern. You don't want to be HO scale. That's fine. Wrap it up at Christmas time. It's only going to be a month and a half away. Wrap it up. Give it to somebody. Now you get somebody else hooked into trains too, which is even better. So did all that, did all that, did all that. So thank you for last week's Super Chats, guys. That was pretty cool. And I am going to stop watching any of the chat now because what I want to do is... Basically because the Sam Cool 844S3 was starting to get into wiring his layout. So he goes down to the hobby shop and he tells the guys, hey, I'm going to wire my layout. What do I need? And they give him reels, little, little reels of cable wire, single strand wire. But what they give him is stranded wire. Watch, this isn't going to do it now. Just because I want this to do this. Of course not. Only on live TV you get this kind of a problem. I can show you better on this one. But anyway, they gave him 18 gauge stranded wire. And I'll get that in there. This is already tinned stuff that I've got. But here is stranded wire. This is 14 gauge, I believe. You can see the little twists in the wire. Not very good if you're trying to do your track feeders. Believe it or not, I'm an electrician. I'm a paid professional to do this kind of stuff with wire. It's just not going to work on a live stream. So, stranded wire, here's your problem. Right? This is what stranded wire means. It's a 14-gauge wire, but there is seven strands of copper wire in it. So when you're doing that to your track, you strip about half, well, a quarter inch back. And if you go to solder that on your track, one of the pieces, like doing the 18 gauge that I was going to try to show you, but it won't open up for me. Figures. Give me a minute. I'll fight with it. I want to fight with it. Why not? I'm not looking at the chat anyway. You guys talk. There we go. So... If you don't know what you're buying, they're going to give you something that's, well, some of the stores might just give you something that's not what you need. So this is stranded cable, and this is a smaller gauge than the 14, obviously, right? So, but you see how small all these strands are? So you go to solder that to your track, because it's like this, and you're going to bend it like this and solder it to the side of your track there. And every once in a while, what you're going to get is one of those strands is going to pop up. And it's going to cause you problems, shorts, or even worse, every once in a while when you're running your hands across your track trying to clean it, and that's sticking up, that'll go right into your skin real quick. And it normally hurts pretty good because it's just like getting a little pricked by a needle. Yeah. So, stranded wire, not what you really want. This, just an example. Hey, I can make a tree out of that. <laughs> I should try that. A wire tree. So what you really want is something called solid wire. Very stiff, as you can see. Harder to bend, but it keeps its bends in it, right? Not like stranded. Very flexible. Can do anything with stranded. But solid wire is exactly that. It is one piece no matter what gauge you want. So if you want 14 gauge like this piece is, solid wire. Get it back here on my white shirt so everybody can see it. Much easier to use when you're doing it on rails. Not the 14. You use this for your bus line because it's a bigger gauge. The wire you want to use on your track, and this is 22 gauge wire, now I get this from, there it is. It's a cable called Cat5. It's a computer cable. So 
comes like this. It says Cat5 right on it. I know a lot of bigger companies throw this stuff out by the mile because it's cheap for them to get. This is what you get inside when you start stripping it. It's got a pull string and it's got different connectors or conductors in it. And they're all twisted differently. But this is an electrical class, so I'm not going to teach you guys why. But take this, strip the cables out of it like so. And now you've got 22 gauge wire. And it's solid wire. All this stuff. Which one do I want still? Let's keep this one just because it probably won't work. So 22 gauge wire stripped. You can kind of see where I've stripped it. Oh, yeah. You can really see in the light. That's what you want for your track feeders. That right there. And then you want terminal blocks, and I didn't bring any upstairs with me. I think they're in the closet over there anyway. But you get the 18-gauge wire goes into one side of a terminal block, and this stuff goes on the other side of a terminal block. You tighten those terminal blocks down nice and tight. You're never going to lose your connection. And this is the part that's going to go to your rail. Again, what you're going to do is take this and probably fold it sideways like that. Okay, so we've gone over the wire Products that you're going to, products, stuff you need to wire your track with track feeders. The wire, obviously, right? We've gone over that. Of course, you're going to need some solder. Now, if you go to an electronics store, you can get the really, really fine, it's almost like 18 gauge wire, but it is a resin core solder. Now, if you're not good at soldering, you're new at soldering. Or if you're doing this for a hobby, like model trains, resin core works out perfectly. Right, Toy Man? I'm sure you can say a few things about solder or where to get solder, but anything. Now, what it means with resin core is flux paste. Basically, is in the center of this solder. Now, why do you need solder paste? Solder does not stick. To metal if it does not have paste you can put that on copper you can put that on any kind of wire you put that on any kind of metal and it will not stick to it it will drip off it will drive you crazy and that's just if it's normal everyday solder now this the reason why you get this the resin core stuff is because it has this in the center of it so for electronics and stuff like that, you don't need a big gob of paste because it's in the center of this. When doing track feeders, I do suggest that you put some of this on the track first, then use your solder, and that'll do your joints very nicely. And they'll be very stiff or hard. What do you want to say? It'll be a good connection anyway. So if... You're like Mr. Sam Cool, and you went to the hobby store, and they gave you this stranded wire. I threw the other one on the floor, but normally it's going to be a lot thicker of a, or thinner of a wire. What do you want to do with that? Well, what you really want to do to a lot of wires anyway, or you should get into a good practice of heat up your soldering gun. And then you, and I do suggest if you're, I use self-cleaning paste because normally you should kind of clean the area that you're going to be putting solder on first, but self-cleaning paste, I would say use a brush because this, I just use my finger. I used to be a plumber too. And I don't know, I've just kind of got used to it, but this stuff will burn your skin slowly, but surely it'll eat away at it. So if you're using this stuff for a long period of time, hell, I'm just going to say, you brush with this stuff. So, back to what we're doing, because I always get sidetracked all the time, and somebody took that name, so I can't even use it. This should be called Wednesday Night Sidetracked, or Sparky Sidetracked, I don't know. And yes, that's Mr. Steve Brown on It's My Railroad. Saturday mornings, you can watch Sidetracked. No. What's he call his Saturday morning show? Hmm. Have to figure that out. So put your paste on there. You don't need a lot of it. Most of the times, if I'm doing this with a wire, I just go like this. Boop. Got it. It's 
soldering gun nice and hot. How do you know it's nice and hot? You take some solder, put it on the tip. Right? It's like tinning your tip. So there we go. We tin the tip of the soldering gun. And of course, trying to do this freehand, but if it's a stranded wire, come on. Put the solder on the wire first. Like I said, you should do this with all your wiring, no matter what, if you're doing track feeders. Now, what you've got is a solid conductor. Stranded, no more. Because you've put solder on the outside of it, it's gonna hold all those wire, little wires together. And now it is one solid piece of wire. Once it cools down, you can take that Smaller gauge again, of course. And see, push it over on an angle like that. Didn't lose any strands. All soldered in there. Okay. But we're not going to use this because it's too big. We have a piece of track. How's the chat doing anyway? Am I losing myself? Piece of track. Now, what do people like to do? Putting track feeders on a piece of track, put them on the inside of the rails. So you're going to take your paste, you're going to goop it all up on the inside of the rails. Hold on, let me think of this. You're going to put this on the inside of the rails, and then you're going to put a wire on there. So that's going to stick up like this in the center, fold over. You're going to get a big gob of solder on there. Then the train's gonna try to roll over it. I got a better idea. On the outside of your rails, heh, had you guys going there for a minute, didn't I? So what you're gonna do is take your track. I'm gonna push you guys down here a bit. See if we can see this all. Get rid of this, put it over there. Got my solder, got my pieces of... Now, normally this is gonna be sticking through your bench work, so your wood or your foam, or like some people like to do, if they're gonna be using a lot of flex track, because you wanna go a track feeder every three, six, myself, I like 10 feet, but that's because I'm an electrician and I know the physics behind it. So they like to take their flex track that they haven't used yet, take a little bit of paste. We're seeing this right about here, put it on there. Put a little bit of paste on here, which, like I said, I like to do it like that. That's all you need. Just dip that, and it's perfect. Take this, turn that upside down. A little bit of solder on the end of that. Now, this is already a solder, a, a soldered. This is already a solid piece of connect wire. I'm going to stop trying to use big words. But I still like to tin it. The reason why I like to tin it is now it's got a little bit of solder on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of solder on here. Then we gotta to try to figure out if the cord's gonna reach over here, over here. Move this, move this. So you're gonna heat up a little bend in, the, in your wire. You see that? Red, black, no, a little bit. But bend it a little bit, put it on your track. You've already put a little bit of solder on the end of your soldering iron, just like that. Don't breathe the smoke. It's bad for you. Take that and push it into the rails. Watch it don't work. Right? Watch it didn't work. Voila. That's all there is basically to doing track feeders. Now you can also take your brush afterwards, clean that up a little bit. Then you're gonna use a cloth on that. I would suggest a wet cloth. That way it cools it down a little bit at the same time. I am unprepared for that, so I do not have a cloth. But you can see the solder does not go on the top of the rail, does not go on the inside of the rail. You go on the outside of the rail, 
if you tin this little wire first and then put a little bit on your soldering iron, you get that on there. That's not a lot of solder on there. Compare that to where the track ties are, how big track ties are for HO scale. And then that gob of solder that's holding that on there. That is a pretty good connection right there. Yes, being an electrician, they kind of teach you this at school. So, that's one way to do it, is the outside of your rails. Now, like I said, some people will take, look, I'm Vanna White. Some people will take a piece of flex track, cut out those two rails on there, because they know they're going to be using all this flex track, put it upside down, clean up the solder that they've spilt all over their brand new desk. I'll have to paint that again. So, took a couple ties out. Flux paste. Now I'm going to do this one here with flux. And then I'll do this side without flux. So maybe I should strip this first. There we go. Okay, take that, flux in there. I just broke that right off there. It's the other thing with 18 gauge and 22 gauge wire, it's a very thin wire. So try to be gentle with it because it will break. So you're gonna take, see, it's gonna break, it's right there. So take it and again, bend it, put your goop on it. Little bit of solder on the end of your gun, just like so. Put it so you can reach it, put it down on the track. Now it does not take long to heat up this track. Of course, this isn't going to work. I have never done track this way. Nope. Now it's probably too hot. If you get it too hot, it's just not going to stick either. There we go. So that's with flux paste. And as you see, I still have a problem with that. Some guys will take alligator clips or little metal pieces and stick them across your rails. That will absorb the heat. So it's not transferring down your track and warping your ties like that one is right there. This does heat up very fast. I know it doesn't look like it would. It's a little piece of wire. It's a little soldering iron but it heats up fast. Trust me, I haven't burned myself yet. Okay, so that was with paste. This is just with, now how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna hold that down, hold that down. Okay, so this is, solder is supposed to have the resin in the center of it, so we'll take it. Huh. And the one I used with paste, of course, breaks. But to me, it's a better solder job. I'll bring this in a little bit closer. Without paste, the wire's still there. My wire just broke because I was bending it too much and overheated it. So if you do overheat this wire, it will also break. Without paste, it kind of globbed on there, I would say. With paste, you can see how smooth that kind of sort of still is so 
It's up to you guys. I like doing it this way on the side of the rails because then you just tuck it underneath like so. Where are we? And then it just goes through a hole in your bench work. So hopefully that showed people this isn't that hard to do. A soldering gun, plug it in for five minutes. That's all the heat you need. Resin core solder. I do recommend strongly getting flux paste and a brush to put it on. Smaller gauge wire is best for your track feeders. 14 gauge. It's probably perfect for your bus line. Now I'm gonna unplug this before I actually do burn myself. Anybody take any bets on that, by the way? Now, the only other thing I can suggest, if you're just into model railroading and you've got, I don't know, 10, 15 track feeders you're gonna put down, this is all you need right here. I went to Canadian Tire, so any hardware store is going to have a soldering gun. This base came with it. All I had to do is screw that in there. That's it. This cleans your soldering iron, plus cools it down a little bit. But they say once you're done that, you should make sure it's nice and tinned again anyway. That was under $20 at a Canadian tire store. So any hardware store, this is under 20 bucks. All you need. Now, if you're getting into doing decoder installs and things like that, again, if you got a nice fine tip on the end of your soldering iron, it'll work out good for you. Again, it heats up fast, so you've got to be quick. But you can go to a hobby store. Where's the top of my head? There I am. Hi, guys. How are you? So, and this is what kind of got me. Like, I'm not into decoder installs and stuff yet. I'm just, I'm still tinkering away with the hobby with scenery and track and stuff like that. So. That's all I needed was that little thing right there. But you can go to the hobby store and if you're into the decoder installs or into electronics of any kind, you can get a variable voltage, variable heat, variable ends. And I seen one at the hobby store, oh, it was last year when I was gonna pick that up and I looked at it and, and I fell into this trap right away. I will, because it's a hobby store, so it's got my trains, it's got the track, it's got the wire, it's got the solder, and it's got the soldering guy, gun right there, the soldering iron. Came in a big box, go, yay big, jeez, right? And it was variable this, and had this dial on it, and had a long cord on it, and you can change all the ends on it, and everything else, and it was 180 bucks. I thought, holy crap, $180, and all I want to do is solder my track. Like, I'm not going to get in. If I need a $180 one later, maybe I can buy one. But for right now, I just, I can't justify spending $180 on a soldering gun. So I left it there. Thinking there's got to be a better way, I guess, that I can put power to my track. Then I remembered, well, I need a glue. So I went over to Canadian Tire, like I said. And I bought this big thing of glue. Real big. See how much I've used, actually, already? And that, this is just for my train set. Anyway, side subject. I go over there to buy glue, and I'm walking down this aisle, and there was soldering guns hanging in little packages, $14.99. That was that one right there. It was $14.99. And it's done the job perfectly. I've done all my track feeders with it. It's all I need to do, $14.99. So, you guys, that's just a heads up. If you're thinking about getting into soldering your track feeders, or getting into decoder installs. I would suggest start small, work your way up. But there's other people you can talk to about that. 2448 Toy Man was in here. He is a great guy for decoder installs and he solders all his wires down. If you really wanna get into soldering irons and stuff, you can talk to him. Go over to his channel and I am sure he will talk your ear off or maybe he can do a video about doing soldering. You never know. OVR Trains, how are you doing, Lauren? DSP YouTube, hello. <coughs> New Junction, nice to see you in here. Small local guy. 
and I saw JP videos in there a second ago. It's nice to see you, sir. Uh, it's my railroad. So there's Steve. I was talking about you a little while ago. So I'm not sure if you were there then, here then, or there then. There now? I don't know. All English. Leave it alone. So there's 2448 Toy Man right there saying thanks, Dave. I guess that was thanks for his little plug. I don't know. But check him out. Like I said, he does the decoder installs. He does have a couple videos up of him doing decoder installs and trying to teach people how to do it. And like I said, he solders it. every connection he does. It's all soldered. It's all hot, hardwired for his stuff. So, And he's done a lot of my locomotives too. I had seven or eight that I had in my flood and gave them to Mr. Toy Man there. He cleaned them all up with a toothbrush and did a couple soldering stuff, tricks to them. Good as new. So, King Wasabi, hello, sir. So that's pretty much wrapped me up for what I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully, I did it right. Because, like I said, I wasn't watching the chat. I know I burnt my desk once. That sucks. But I can repaint that. So that's all right. Too high. Too high. There we go. A little bit lower. I like to lean back. So, did I hit my hour mark? 57 minutes ago. Hey, that's not too bad. That's pretty good timing, actually. So, so like I said, hopefully, I it, basically what I wanted to show people with soldering track feeders, A, what products you want. Stay away from stranded wire. Go for solid. Get your resin core uh, solder. It's really, really thin stuff. Electronic stores sell it. Don't get it at a hardware store. Because the stuff they sell is usually more lead in it. No, it'll be less lead in it now because of restrictions on lead. But anyway. So yeah, get that at an electronic store. But I, I really hope that it just kind of showed you guys it's not the hardest thing in the world to do. Especially if you can do it to your track before you lay your track. But even if, like my, my track's down on my main line. And I still have about six track feeders I have to put in there yet and then I can start doing ballasting yay I can't wait I'm actually going to do a live stream about ballasting I'm going to put you guys at the end of my layout and I'm going to call it live stream ballasting chat you guys chat I ballast live streaming me ballasting my main line that's it should be really exciting I think so anyway Joe G nice to see you in here sir you've probably been in here for about an hour Hot Rod Rodney 25, Amazon, white glue, by the gallon. Well, so I just went to the hardware store and bought that. That's no big deal. Some things I think you might as well just go to your hardware store and get it. You order that on Amazon, and they're going to mail it to you. And by the time you get it, a little hole gets popped in it. So you get a box full of glue and an empty bottle. Just saying. Not had to, it hasn't happened to me, but hey. So... Uh, being here the whole time. Yes, Jonathan, I know you have, sir. And thank you very much. There has been quite a few people in here for the whole time. We got Ron Brights. Nice to see you, sir. Yes, they must all be sleeping. Yeah, a few of the Aussies are here. Aw. So, I work in retail. Use the local brick and mortar store. I like those. I'm starting to find more and more of them around. I got one in Mississauga. Um, one in Paris. One in St. Thomas. I hear there's one in London, but I've never been to it. And then I've got one in Elmer, which is Otter Valley Railroad, which is the one I really like to go shop at because they got lots of selection and the prices are on their stuff. So you can see it. It's really cool. But they got a good website too, ovrtrains.com. Otter Valley Railroad. Check it out. I think he was in here before too. Or he might still be here. What is it? So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, hopefully I helped somebody else out. And uh, I don't know, maybe I was just reassuring myself, too, that I could still do it. Because I haven't done track feeders for a couple months. So, so Vinny, I'm going to troll your stream. Ha, ha, ha. I think we should all troll Vinny's stream. Oh, there it is. OVR Trains, I'm here listening. So 
that's a store channel right there. Well, it's a Lauren's personal channel, I believe, but it, there's a link in there, I think. Jonathan, don't do that again, buddy. You can't, don't ask for shutouts. That's not cool. Please. We're all here to kind of learn something and have fun and, and, and have a little talk with people. That's all you got to do. By you talking in the chat, and I'm not going to say your name again because you know who you are now, but you don't need to sit there and say money. And nobody does, right? No matter what stream you guys go to anywhere. If you're watching somebody's live stream, don't sit there and say, subscribe to my channel, follow me, pick me, look at my channel, check me out. All you got to do is talk. Have the conversation with the people that are in the room. Follow along because I don't. So somebody's got to follow along in the chat. And as you're doing that, people are going to go, oh, OVR trains, both store and layout. Oh, I should check that channel out. And he's going to click on your name. He's going to click on the three dots beside your name. And he's going to go check out your channel. If he likes it, he's going to hit the bell and watch all your videos. So, sorry. Didn't mean to... Uh, Anyway, enough said about that. And that's rules for everybody's live streams, I think, guys. Unless it's a live stream that says, get a shout out here. It's just come in and chat. And if you've been watching my chats, right now, I've been here an hour. I'm pretty much out of stuff to say. So the next thing I'm going to say is, guys, I want to know how many subscribers you have on your channel. So. Throw it in the chat right now. I myself, I think I'm up to 2,059 or something. I forgot to look before I came in. So how many subscribers do you guys got on your channel? Let me know right now. I want to know. So Dave Atkins has 317. Toy Man, don't ask for shoutouts. Okay, I won't. I'm sorry. Cheryl Crow has 106. Scrumptious Model Train says 780. Thanks, Container Man 68. Train Man 46 has 227, growing steadily, which is awesome. EJ and E Jeff has 143. Ralph Greenwood has 2057. Okay. Oh, sorry. That was a comment. No, he doesn't. But Spokane Northern, nice to see you, sir. 166. Randy's Rock and Roll MacArthur. I love the name. I really do. Some names just stick right out. 235. Ron Bright says 189. John Tenzello, 1077. Train Guy 56 has 30. OVR Train says 445. It's a train store. You should have a lot more than that. Well, you never know. Maybe after this one. Small Local Guy 127. BNSF 6951, 3055. That's cool, sir. GRE 2057. I just missed you. I called out your name so I can go back. GRE 2057 has 151. Redbird Tony, 178. You should have more than that. You bought N scale cows. There's got to be at least 200 people out there that want to see them. There's probably 199 people out there that will never see them. Poor things. 2448 Toy Man has. How did I lose that? 1,412. Very cool, sir. I think you were going to, you were talking about a contest coming up on yours, too. <coughs> Jack Jack has 342. Whatever works, Railroad has 38. I have 53 people in here right now watching. All those channels just went flying by, guys. You're not subscribed to them. Check them out. That's what we're all here for. If you're not following him, I guess it's you guys. I don't know about this subscriber thing. 2448 Toy Man does it on his live streams. You're not allowed to say subscriber or subs. So that, that's fine. Sparky, would you do a live stream of GEXR before the line goes back to CN? Actually, I was trying to get in touch with him the other day, but it didn't work. So, But I'll talk to you about it in a bit, bud. But that would be kind of cool. What was I saying? Something about Toy Man. Oh, yeah. Subs and subscribe, you're not supposed to say in the chat anymore, I guess, because YouTube looks at it as it's a, a sub for sub thing that you're asking for, which to me is retarded. The only question I've really got for YouTube is 
Why do you care where I get my subscribers? It brings people watching my channel, which in turn means they're watching YouTube. So would that not make you happy if you were the owner of YouTube or the whatever corporation of YouTube? So who cares if you say subscriber, sub, follow, check you out, found you. I don't know. I don't get it. To me, they should be happy. If you're getting subscribers, people are watching your channel, then they're watching YouTube. They're not watching TV. My two cents. Maybe I should start doing that at the end of all my streams. My two cents. I probably have to call it a nickel, though, because Canada doesn't have pennies anymore. It is so hard to figure out what you want to call stuff nowadays. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'll leave this going for a couple more minutes. Now is the time. Let me know, again, how many subscribers you got. That is kind of the way to tell people that you're looking for someone to look for you. All right. I'm going to go see if I can find that end stream button. Talk to you later. And bye for now. And I don't know. I think this stream was kind of fun. I didn't even burn myself. Well, can't really say that yet. That stupid soldering iron is probably still hot. And I guarantee after I shut the camera off, I'm going to put it away. Which means I'm going to burn myself. All right. Talk to you in a bit, guys. Oh, and don't forget about my contest. I almost forgot about my contest. If you're not sure what I'm talking about for the contest, you got to go back in this live stream somewhere and it tells you about it. Then you're first to figure it out. And I guess I will see everybody on Friday night. BNSF 6951 has a live stream. I will be there. And I hope to see you guys there too. So talk to you soon. Bye for now, guys.